This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and we are navigating the journey. Today's journey is one of those that is familiar to all of us, and most of us know nothing. We are talking today pure politics, pure politics. And as you know, I'm a political junkie. So we are talking to my dear friend, Sam Iona, who was, are you ready for this? The ex-chair of the Republican Party. And a friend uh, welcome, of Marcia Joyner. Thank welcome, you, Marcia. Sam. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we we asked Sam to do this because it's all over the news. Everywhere you turn, it's about the Republican Party. And Sam is, like he said, X. And what 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 happens? Did the Republican Party? Did you leave the Republican Party, or did the Republican Party leave you? Let's start there. All right. Well, thank you, first of all, for letting me uh, have this little time with you, Marsha. I always enjoy discussions with you, it's being political junkie myself. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Um, I think it's a little both, a little bit of both, that uh, you know the Republican Party left me, or I left the Republican Party. I just, you know, it, people get so wrapped up in the R and the D right. that they forget the real reasons why we run for office, why we serve, you know, and and so I, I got a little fed up with the Republican Party. Just, you know, the the way it was being run, the way uh, it it, ha it was run in the past, the way it's currently being run, and so I think that I could make more of a difference in politics if we uh, stop the labels, stop the R, stop the Ds, and just work for the people instead. And so I decided, you know, maybe if we. If I left the party and, and, and helped anyone and everyone who agrees with the same you know, principles as I do, it can make a difference. Well, um, for our audience who probably doesn't know, there was a time in Hawaii's history uh, where we had a multi-member district. Mm -hmm. And everybody voted for the best guy, and then you voted for your friend. Yeah. So. And so it, it kind of came down that you had almost the same number of Republicans as you do Democrats. And people talked to each other. Mm -hmm. There was a civility between the Democrats and the Republicans. And at one point, it was all Republicans. And then by 1961, the Democrats had real power for the first time. So in that time when we had we could talk to each other as as civil and then something happened went what went so terribly wrong that there's this angst even to say uh, I'm a Democrat or I'm a Republican and you get the other person like, mm -hmm. what happened what went so terribly wrong yeah. you know I, I think back then uh, when you had your multi-member districts, and as you said, they, they, they were friends, they were civil back then. Um, I, I've heard stories about it. Uh, Pat Psyche is uh, my mentor and um, still a good friend of mine, even though you know, I left the Republican Party. She's, you know, when you're friends, you're friends, and so she's still a friend of mine. Well, she would tell me uh, about those days when she was in the Senate and they had that coalition of Democrats and Republicans with Pat Psyche and Andy Anderson and Mary George, and you had Dickie Wong, and you had others on the Democrat side. Um, and they could talk to each other. And they would argue with, with each other on the floor of the House or floor of the Senate. And, and then after that, said, okay, let's go have lunch. Yes. You know, um, what went wrong, I think, is people kind of dug their heels in, in this partisanness. And, uh, and maybe it was the uh, 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 lust for power. I think people, instead of helping, we, we're losing focus, Marshall, on really what, why we serve, why they serve. And it's to help the people. And I think, you know, my idea is better than your idea. And I don't like you because you're Republican. I don't like her because she's a Democrat. I, and, and people got so wrapped up in that that now we get to 2016 and 18 where I only support Democrats or I only support Republicans. And, and people, I think, lost sight of 
Why did he serve? In 1974, I think, uh, they all came together to give Hawaii their very first prepaid medical plan, and it was the Pat Psyches mm -hmm. and Ann Kobayashi mm -hmm. and the unions and all of them came mm -hmm. together to mm -hmm. give us this. We couldn't mm -hmm. do that anymore. We can't, no. Yeah. We, we, uh, not unless, you know, it's all Democrats or all Republicans that I want to agree with it. You know, and when, and you know, I mean, Hawaii is, we always say Hawaii is different and it is different, but take a look what's happening in Congress. I mean, oh. I, I think it's, you know, the party politics are destroying it America. Is. It, it really is. is. I mean, you know, when, when Barack Obama proposed certain in initiatives, as well as Donald Trump, when the, when the President Obama or President Trump introduces legislation, it, there's, this, there's this divide. I mean, you can, you can, you can tell what the vote's going to be even before they introduce it. You know, mm -hmm. it's why I got to believe, Marsha, that with President Trump's tax cuts, let's say, there are some Democrats that had to have agreed with that, and some Republicans who had to have been opposed to that. Why would it just pass along party lines? I mean, you get your one or two, you know, yeah. uh, people that have the courage to stand up against their party, but they, they, they don't always, you know, why is it always along party lines? Why is it, when you, when you, when you nominate uh, someone, when the president nominates someone, why is it always along party lines? You know, and I think that's, that's why we have this mess in Congress, you know, and, and that's why I left the Republican Party because I just I just think that that's not the way to do things. Well, again, let's for anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, <laughs> uh, we are operating since when it was a Jefferson, Tom, not Jefferson, Jackson. We have a two-party system mm -hmm. uh, that is supposedly, mm -hmm. and theoretically, it was supposed to be the checks and balances. Correct. That's the way it was right. supposed to be. It never worked. Yeah. Never. But it, it got, sometimes it was better than, yes. than not. Yes. Still there. Uh, and the old idea, uh, let me skip forward here a bit. When people say that, for instance, the, about the blacks being the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party did not say, open the doors, say, y'all come. They broke down the doors in 1964 and 1968. And then it was in those moments with Fannie Lou Hamer that the Democratic Party changed, opened it up to more than white men, because mm -hmm. the con convention was all white men. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have their wives, you know, or if their wives were there, they were just there. and. That changed the party forever, allowing people, not only blacks, Hispanics, everybody, mm -hmm. and women. Mm -hmm. Then we get to, we're talking about making change within the party. Now, I have nothing, I know nothing about the Republicans. In the 80s, when Jesse Jackson ran for president, the, at that time, if you won any part of the state in the primary, you got the whole state, which left out a lot of people. So he moved to make changes within the party. Well, he ran again the next time. And he got enough new people in the party that joined the party to support him that for the first time they had a, a black chair of the party, they had a woman, Hispanic woman, as the vice chair, and all of those positions within the party changed because he was out campaigning and people signed up to be a part of the party. Mm -hmm. And so that is how the change in the party mm -hmm. happened. Now, where we are today, when you look at the progressives, which I'm not sure that I understand all of what that's about, mm -hmm. except that it seems that there is this, even within the party, that they are trying to hold on mm -hmm. and the rest of you go away, which isn't going to work. So if that's going on over here, what's going on over there? Mm -hmm. 
I think, you know, you could almost say the same thing happened, and probably about the same time. Ann Kobayashi, Donny Kera, Republicans, yes. and in 1988, when uh, uh, Pat Robertson was a nominee for the Republican Party, they, they Pat did. Robertson, the, the, the um, Christian coalition, mm -hmm. was tried to change, in fact, was pretty successful but, at yes. changing the party. And as they tried to change a party, similarly to what Jesse Jackson was trying to do on the Democrat side, they alienated a lot of people, which is why. Uh, I know, because I took Ann Kobayashi and said, come with me, I'll get your party card. Yeah. That, that was probably an easy <laughs> task, though. Yeah. But, but it was easy because they were trying to change it. And so I agree that, you know, if you disagree with what's happening at the Democrat Party, what's happening with the Republican Party, you can change it from within, or you should at least try right. to change it from within. And, and they have, but, you know, to some degree. But today, though, Marsha, today it's... You know, with the Republican Party, let's, for example, you've got your ultra right wing conservatives that, you know, do not like the middle at all. And on the Democrat side, you have your, you know, uh, uh, middle of the road Democrats and you got your progressives all over here on the left. I should say, I should be say yes. right and left here. <laughs> but, uh, and they're trying to change it within the party. But the, the, I think the problem today is that my way is better than your way. And mm -hmm. if you don't like it, you can get out. Yes. You know, and, and instead of saying being more inclusive, at that right. time, you know, the, the, tents, the tents have gotten smaller. Mm -hmm. I mean, here in Hawaii, obviously the Democrat tent is bigger than the Republican tent. But I think even the, on the Democrat, Democratic Party, the, in the, the Hawaii Democratic Party has still, you know, sort of wanting to have control. It's all about control. control. But it's all about now, control. There are any number of people, elected officials, who take the D in order to get elected when, in fact, at their heart, they are of Republicans. Course. Of course. And why not? I mean, you, yeah. if you want to get elected and, again, I hope you're doing that because you want to serve the people. And you tell yourself, listen, if I become a Democrat, it's, I have a better chance of getting elected and a better chance of serving the people. Not, it's not about, you know, just being a Democrat or just being a Republican. And, of course, you've got your Republican ideas and your Democrat ideas. You have a platform that you have to agree on and, and that's that's fine. That's you know that's the way the system is set up. But I think it's that again it's that lust for power and control of the party and it's my way or the highway. And it's in both sides. Mm -hmm. It's in both sides. And that's why I left the Republican Party because I, I you know it's it's because it's my way or the highway there is they weren't open minded enough. Well that's what um, Beth Fukumogo said mm -hmm. that they complained because she's said something unkind about Trump, right. which of course is easy to do, right. but, but why, that not, should, yeah. should, why should that Correct. mean that she had to leave the party? Correct. Correct. Now, you know, I, I uh, was, I wasn't, I was left the party before all of this happened, Beth Fukumoto, um, but I can see how that played, I mean, I, I saw how that played out and I know why that played out is because, you know, Beth should have been allowed to say, look, I disagree with a certain uh, certain people within the party, and I disagree with certain of the platforms within the party. Fine, let's move ahead. Linda Lingo did that. She disagreed, and she tried to change the platform, and she got a lot of pushback and so forth. Uh, but I, I think you ought to be allowed to do that. And, and Representative Fukumoto should have been allowed to say, "I disagree." Yes. Much like much like the Democrats who disagree with their platform or, or uh, people within their party. It seems to me, and this is from afar just watching the Republicans, that um, there are several women who are elected now, or have been elected, that got out of the Republican Party. It's almost like the Republicans are pushing out really smart women. Yeah. And it's like, well, that could be the change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Kim, Kimberly, Kimberly Pine. Pine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's a graduate of Berkeley very pretty lady yeah. they yeah. just pushed yeah. her out and, you know and, and I don't know if it's uh it's it's a if they're pushing out because they're women I I, I mean well I just, of course I know you know that's the way I see it yes no, no, whether no, it's no. true and, or not whether that's it's the way true I or not but but they're not well they pushed out Aaron Johansson you know I mean but they're I don't think they look at it that way I don't think they're savvy enough to to do something like that to be honest with you but uh, they are pushing out people just because you don't agree with what we said. If you're, you're, you're not far enough to the right, 
then you don't belong in the party and we're going to push out. And so, you know, I wish, to be honest with you, Marcia, that people like my good friend Aaron Johansson and Beth Fogmoto would have stayed within the party and tried to change it because right. that party needs, needs change. Yes. That party needs change. I mean, obviously, when you've got, when you've got zero senators in the state Senate and, you know, what is it now, five, six in the House, you, you have got to change it. And I, I wish they had stayed to change the party. So we have to take a break. Okay. And when we come back, we will do more politics. <laughs> politics. <laughs> This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Some say scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life. I said I could play, so any chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, that's how we do it. Hello everyone, I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Okay. Hello, I'm Marcia, and we are back with my dear friend, <laughs> Sam Iona. And Sam and I have known each other for I don't know how long, uh, yeah. and we love playing this game <laughs> of, <laughs> of being political junkies. So, as a real junkie, <clears throat> I will defer to you, because you're the pretty one. Now, well, he is pretty, isn't he? <laughs> anyway. Uh, you. you are now supporting uh, Representative Hanabusa, the Congresswoman, for governor. And as we see now, there aren't many choices in who you're. Who, 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 <laughs> there are. Are there any Republicans running for governor? Well, yeah, there's a couple of them. I think, but, but you know, I'm one of the other reasons why. Um, I left the Republican Party was because I knew I was going to be helping uh, Congresswoman Hanabusa, and I didn't want her to be, you know, have people saying, oh, there's a Republican helping you. Not that she would mind, because she's a brilliant lady and a, a very smart woman. Um, but I'm helping her, Marsha, because, you know, in, in this day and age, it's not about being a Republican or a Democrat. As I said, it's about helping the people. And, you know, I told someone just yesterday, I said, you know, they told me, well, it's not about me, Sam. It's not about you. It's about Colleen. I said, it's not even about Colleen. It's about her becoming governor so she can help other people. I, I saw someone at the, we were, we were, our headquarters by Kapalama Canal. I saw someone as I was driving in, and I said, you know, this is why I'm helping Colleen, because I think that she would be the best person to help people who are homeless, to help people who need affordable housing, to help people who are economically disadvantaged. And so, you know, it doesn't matter that she's, a Democrat to me. Mm -hmm. She happens to be one and, she, and, and, and uh, uh, a good Democrat at that, but that's not why I'm helping her. I'm helping her because, you know, I think she's going to make the right decisions for the state. And, you know, and if, and if there were a Republican that I felt uh, that would be the same in, in some other office, I'd help uh, he or she because, you know, I think that's what we need to do. That's, I wish Congress would learn that. You know, yes. it's not about Well, the party. what I have um, noticed of the the Democrats that are running, is how she steps up to the plate. Whatever the issue is, mm -hmm. she will take a stand. Mm -hmm. It's real leadership. Mm -hmm. And goodness knows we need real mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked earlier today with the mayor of Kauai. Mm -hmm. And even though the governor, Ige, was helpful, mm -hmm. showed up, that we, but we don't know that. We didn't mm -hmm. get to see that. Mm -hmm. We got to see the mayor doing everything, yeah. but, and we know the governor was there, but mm -hmm. we didn't get to right. see any leadership. Right. Right. And I think people need to, that's yeah. what, and all the facts in the world don't mean anything. Yeah. It's all emotion. 
And if people see mm -hmm. that you are on their side, then mm -hmm. they feel mm -hmm. connected. And I have seen her, because I've known her since she first came to the legislature, and I have seen her take a stand, mm -hmm. even when it's not popular, exactly. take a stand. And so in, in that, I, mm -hmm. I have to say that I, I think that's what people vote yeah. for the emotion. Right. right. And people do want to see someone who, who's going to take the bull by the horn and, and, okay. make, and make those decisions. And, you know, it's always, it's always about me, whether I live in Hawaii Kai, in Waipahu, in Waianae, you know, it's, it's politics or elections are always about me. And if there's right. an issue that I feel strongly about that's front and center in that, in that particular election, I'm going to vote. Right. And so I, you know, and I, I would always tell candidates, it's always and about me. So, you, you know, you take the missile alert that happened. You know, I know where I was. I know what I did. I was affected by it because, you know, either I'm a, a student trying to get to my soccer practice or, or I'm a grandparent trying to take care of my mo'opunas or whatever the case may be. I was affected by it. It's about me. To our friends on Kauai right now, it's about me. I, uh, my, my home was flooded. You know, something was happening. And so... I want to see leadership. Right. I want to see someone help me. I mean, in Iki, we saw a lot of politicians who were elected officials, you know, who were affected by it in a negative way because they weren't helping. Right. And so you take a situation like this, you know, the, 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 the floods, the waters don't know, don't know Democrats or Republicans. They don't. The floods don't know, you know, whether you're incumbent or not. We need leadership at these certain times. And, you know, and that's why I'm helping someone like Colleen Hanabusa, but in, it has nothing to do with her political affiliation. Well, yeah, and I live in Hawaii Kai, and we Same, had right, floods, right. but our mayor, right. not a word. Yeah, not exactly. Not one word. Exactly. People, and we had flood, and I have a sinkhole in my front yard. Wow. Uh, the ocean that goes by was mud brown. We had people whose houses totally destroyed. Mm. N not, and yeah. the highway yeah. was a mess for, for two days. Not one word from the mayor, from yeah. Hawaii's yes. mayor. Yes. Kauai, I mean, o Oahu's well, mayor. Again, you know, I need help. It's about yes. me. I want my tax taxes cut. I want my gas uh, prices to be right. lowered. And I can go on and on. And I want my children to be educated. Uh, in a, in, a, in a school system, you know, that I can be proud of. But when I see or hear a elected official saying that, I'll support them all the way. And, right. and again, we're going back to, you know, I know this program is about uh, navigating the Republican Party. Um, with the Republican Party, you don't, you don't see that now. No. You know, you, you just don't see that. You don't see, number one, the leadership. Um, you know, they got the same people leading that, that party has they've done for decades now. But, you know, you got to show people you care, Marsha. You know, if you're going to serve in office, show that you care. When there's a flood in Hawaii Kai, get out there. Show the residents that I care. When, right. when there's a missile alert, show that I care enough that I'm going to take care of you immediately and fix this problem. That's what people want to see in their elected official. And so when, when a candidate like Colleen Hanabusa comes around, and I see that she'll make those decisions because she's a smart lady. I mean, there's, I, I've sat with her on many occasions. And I'm thinking, how do you know all of this information? She's just... <laughs> So smart. Uh, but, you know, and, and even though she's smart, you have to have a, a, the ability to care about people and act on it. And I think she will do that, which is why I'm supporting her. But, um, again, you know, it's when, when you show that, uh, people will respond and will gravitate towards you, as they have to the Democratic Party here in right. Hawaii. So I, unless and until the Republicans in Hawaii learn that and, 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 and embraced that attitude about you know, caring for individuals and wanting to help them. And, and it's about them, not about me, not right. about my issues, not about the Republican Party platform. It's how it's been interpreted to others and it's how others perceive of it and how they can benefit from it. And, and until you learn that, the Republicans will always will have zero in the state Senate. Yeah, because I'd, we should know the name of the chair of the Republican Party. We yeah. don't. I understand it's a brilliant woman uh -huh. with great credentials, mm -hmm. but I don't know her yeah. name. Do we see her? Yeah. Or does she? Yeah. No, no press conference, no, no articles in the yeah. paper. Right. Uh, we don't see the leadership yeah. of right. the Republicans 
do they take a stand? Where were mm -hmm. they on the the floods? Because right. right. uh, it wasn't just me, but statewide. Where where are they? Right. Where are they right. on the that, issues with the telescope? Right. Where are they on right. these issues right. that all of us read about every day? And and I think they're missing an opportunity. And so we, we come to think of, oh, well, it's just the Democrats. And then we say, well, not very many people vote. Well, hell no. Yeah. What is there to vote for? Yeah. Yeah. When you have 51 House members and 30 of them ran unopposed, yeah. what is there to vote for? That's leadership. So there you go again. It's this. Shirley Ostrov, by the way, the chairman of the Hawaii Republican Party. But what's her name? Shirley Ostrov. Okay. You don't hear about her because, again, you know, it's 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 the leadership. And if, and if you get out there and say, look, I'm here because I care, and here's how we can help you. You know, she might find a lot more people gravitating towards the Republican Party. But you, you're right. You just don't see her. She gets criticized, by the way, for the people, the the far right wing of the party, for not speaking up enough for not attacking, for not, you know, standing up there and, 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 and criticizing. But it's not always about criticizing, Marcia. It's not. It's not about attacking. Again, it's about serving the people, helping those who cannot help themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it's helping people who are homeless, helping economically disadvantaged, helping immigrants that come to Hawaii, helping uh, people that need government assistance. And and, and, and you, you cannot you know, put yourself in a little box like how the Republicans do and say, no, that's the only way we're going to do it, and that's the way it should be done, and, you know, and, and leave everyone else out. And, and to, you know, I'm learning that to a certain degree the Democratic Party has people within the Democratic Party oh, that think the same way too. Yes. You know? and, and so you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I see that in both parties. You know, the, the, the difference, I mean, a lot of times I say the difference between the two is just that the Democrats control everything and the Republicans control nothing. But you do have within the party those that will say the, the, the party leadership is not doing enough or should be doing this and should be doing that. And that's, you know, I guess uh, that's their, their it, they can do that. At least, yes, and that, that is true. However, if there is an issue, the media immediately knows to go to right, 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 right. them and they yes. will make a statement. Yes. yes. They don't have that same Correct. luxury Correct. with the Republicans. And that is what I'm talking about. If if they were visible, yeah. then yeah. it might be different. Right now, we have a two-party system in Hawaii. It's the Democrat establishment and the Democrat progressives. Okay. You know, and that's that's, that's the only two parties we have yes. right now. You know, I know and Frank Fossey told me many, many years ago. He said, "Oh, we do have a two-party system. They're both Democrats." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, listen. You know, our time is nigh. Thank you so much for coming to visit with us. You're and as always, it's a pleasure <laughs> with you. And again, thank You're you welcome. so much. You're welcome. Aloha. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you. Aloha.